In this video, we are going to talk about Ascaris lumbricoides life cycle. Ascaris is also called the round worm. It causes Ascariasis disease in the body of the human. The adult Ascaris looks something like this. The male has a curved tail and the female is straight. So now, how this Ascaris or the round worm gets inside our body? The eggs of the Ascaris gets inside our body when we consume the contaminated food or drinks. The eggs, the fertilized eggs of the Ascaris can be present in the vegetables or other foods or drinks. When we consume the contaminated food, the fertilized eggs of the Ascaris gets inside our body and these eggs are containing raftitiform larva of the Ascaris lumbicoides. When we consume these eggs, the eggs goes inside our body through the gastrointestinal tract. And this is our body and it goes inside through the mouth. And this is the gastrointestinal tract or the food pipe going through the stomach and small intestine. And the last thing is the large intestine of the gastrointestinal tract. So now when that fertilized egg of Ascaris is getting inside our body through the mouth, it travels through the food pipe and goes to the small intestine. When it goes to the small intestine, the raptitiform larva comes out of the egg in the small intestine. And after coming out, the larva is now in the small intestine. As the egg enters through our mouth and releases the larva in the small intestine. Now the larva from the small intestine invades the wall of the small intestine and goes to the blood circulation. Through the portal vein, the larva reaches the liver and from the liver through the hepatic veins, it reaches the heart. Now the larva is inside the heart and through the blood circulation from the heart, the larva travels to the lungs. In the lungs, the larva gets its moltings. It has its th second and third molting in the lungs. So let's do a quick recap as the egg entered through the mouth and released the larva in the intestine and from the intestine the larva goes to the liver to the heart and then to the lungs and then it will go upwards to the trachea and it will go to the mouth and again get swallowed in the food pipe and now it travels through the food, food pipe downwards and it again reaches to the small intestine and in the small intestine it will have its fourth molting now it has reached the small intestine once again After the fourth molting in the small intestine, the larva now becomes the adult Ascaris lumbicoides. Now the adult worms, the male and female adult Ascaris, will travel to the large intestine. And in the large intestine, they will mate. The adults will mate and will form the eggs. And the egg will be released through the feces and go out of the body. So this is the feces having the eggs of the Ascaris lumbicoides. And these eggs will again contaminate other foods or vegetables. These eggs in the feces will go to the soil. And in the soil, these eggs will have its first molting and will form the raftitiriform larva in the soil and then it will contaminate the food. The eggs can be two types. 
it can be fertilized eggs or unfertilized eggs only the fertilized eggs can contaminate the food and infect another human and the unfertilized eggs are the eggs which were produced without mating so these eggs cannot infect any other human being so the fertilized eggs from the soil after first molting through the food will get inside another human and will continue the life cycle of the ascaris lumbicoides